Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. In theoretical physics, specifically quantum field theory, a beta function, beta g, encodes the dependence of a coupling parameter, g, on the energy scale, mu, of a given physical process described by quantum field theory. It is defined as beta g equals mu del g del mu equals del g del ln mu. And because of the underlying renormalization group, it has no explicit dependence on mu. So it only depends on mu implicitly through g. This dependence on the energy scale thus specified is known as the running of the coupling parameter, a fundamental feature of scale dependence in quantum field theory. And its explicit computation is achievable through a variety of mathematical techniques. The concept of beta function was introduced by Ernst Stukelberg and Andre Peterman in 1953. Scale invariance if the beta functions of a quantum field theory vanish, usually at particular values of the coupling parameters, then the theory is said to be scale invariant. Almost all scale invariant QFDs are also conformally invariant. The study of such theories is conformal field theory. The coupling parameters of A. Quantum field theory can run even if the corresponding classical field theory is scale invariant. In this case, the non-zero beta function tells us that the classical scale invariance is anomalous. Examples beta functions are usually computed in some kind of approximation scheme. An example is perturbation theory, where one assumes that the coupling parameters are small. One can then make an expansion in powers of the coupling parameters and truncate the higher order terms, also known as higher loop contributions, due to the number of loops in the corresponding Feynman graphs. Here are some examples of beta functions computed in perturbation theory. Quantum electrodynamics, the one-loop beta function in quantum electrodynamics, QED is beta E equals E3 12 pi 2, or equivalently, beta alpha equals 2 alpha 2 3 pi, written in terms of the fine structure constant in natural units, alpha equals E2 slash 4 pi. This beta function tells us that the coupling increases with increasing energy scale and QED becomes strongly coupled at high energy. In fact, the coupling apparently becomes infinite at some finite energy, resulting in a Landau pole. However, one cannot expect the perturbative beta function to give accurate results at strong coupling. And so it is likely that the Landau pole is an artifact of applying perturbation theory in a situation where it is no longer valid. Quantum chromodynamics, the one-loop beta function in quantum chromodynamics with NF flavors and NS. Scalar colored bosons is beta G equals minus 11 minus NS6 minus 2 and F3, G3 16 pi 2, or beta alpha S equals minus 11 minus NS6 minus 2 and F3, alpha S22 pi, written in terms of alpha S equals G2 slash 4 pi. Assuming NS equals 0, if an F less than or equal to 16, the ensuing beta function dictates that the coupling decreases with increasing energy scale, a phenomenon known as asymptotic freedom. Conversely, the coupling increases with decreasing energy scale. This means that the coupling becomes large at low energies, and one can no longer rely on perturbation theory. SUN, non-abelian gauge theory while the Young, Mills, gauge group of QCD is SU3 and determines three colors. We can generalize to any number of colors, NC with a gauge group G equals SU and C. Then for this gauge group, with Dirac fermions in a representation are F of G, and with complex scalars in a representation are S, the one-loop beta function is beta, G equals minus 11 3 C 2 G, minus 1 3 N S T, R S, minus 4 3 N F T, R F, G 3 16 pi 2, where C 2 G is the quadratic Casimir of G and T R is another Casimir invariant defined. By TR, TR A T R B equals T R delta A B for generators T R A B of the Lie algebra and the representation R. Four whale or Majorana fermions, replace four slash three by two slash three, and for real scalars, replace one slash three by one slash six. For gauge fields, i.e. gluons, necessarily in the adjoint of G, C two G, equals NC. For fermions in the fundamental or anti-fundamental, representation of G, T, R, equals 1 slash 2. Then for QCD, 
with nc equals 3, the above equation reduces to that listed for the quantum chromodynamics beta function. This famous result was derived nearly simultaneously in 1973 by Pollitzer, Gross, and Wilczek, for which the three were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2004. Unbeknownst to these authors, G. T. Hooft had announced the result in a comment following a talk by K. Semanzik at a small meeting in Mars sales in June 1972, but he never published it. Standard model Higgs, Yukawa couplings in the standard. Model, quarks and leptons have Yukawa couplings to the Higgs boson. These determine the mass of the particle. Most all of the quarks and leptons Yukawa couplings are small compared to the top quarks Yukawa coupling. These Yukawa couplings change their values depending on the energy scale at which they are measured through running. The dynamics of Yukawa couplings of quarks are determined by the renormalization group equation. Mu del del mu y is almost equal to y 16 pi 2, 9 2 y 2 minus 8 g 3 2, where g 3 is the color gauge coupling, which is a function of mu and associated with asymptotic freedom, and y is the Yukawa coupling. This equation describes how the Yukawa coupling changes with energy scale. Me. The Yukawa couplings of the up, down, charm, strange, and bottom quarks are small at the extremely high energy scale of grand unification. Mu is almost equal to 10, 15 GeV. Therefore, the Y2 term can be neglected in the above equation. Solving, we then find that Y is increased slightly at the low energy scales at which the quark masses are generated by the Higgs. Mu is almost equal to 100 GV. On the other hand, solutions to this equation for large initial values Y cause the RHS to quickly approach smaller values as we descend in energy scale. The above equation then locks Y to the QCD coupling G3. This is known as the infrared quasi-fixed point of the renormalization group equation for the Yukawa coupling. No matter what, the initial starting value of the coupling is... If it is sufficiently large, it will reach this quasi-fixed point value, and the corresponding quark mass is predicted. Minimal supersymmetric standard model renormalization group studies in the minimal supersymmetric standard model, MSSM, of grand unification and the Higgs. Yukawa fixed points were very encouraging that the theory was on the right track. So far, however, no evidence of the predicted MSSM particles has emerged in experiment at the Large Hadron Collider.